Hey guys, Rogue Nation here with you today, and today we have a video out of Duluth, Minnesota, and uh, it's an ID refusal. The officers show up about five deep, and uh, you know, tell this guy that he looks like the suspect. He's not buying it. As well, nobody should. Um, he does a good job. Let's check it out, and uh, we'll talk about it at the end. No. Is everything all good? No. No. Is everything okay? I'm the host here. Not Chris Smith, no. Do you have an ID? I, I wouldn't give you one if I had one. Really? Really. You know the Fourth Amendment. Yeah. you got to be committing a crime. You but no, like the guy the I, I know who Chris Smith is. I see him. Oh. That's not me, obviously. Yeah. I don't do last. Okay. Do you know where he would be? I have no idea. I haven't seen him. No. Why didn't you get a did you get a call that he was here? No, we're just looking for him. He's not doing so well. Oh, yeah. How do you know? Uh, I know him from back in the day. I went to high school with him. Okay. You're saying maybe recently? No, I haven't talked to him in years. Probably 10, 10 plus years. I think that's him. I do have an idea. Can I just see it? You cannot just see it. You have a lot. Are you one of those guys? No, I'm not one of those guys. It's just that I've, I've not committed a crime. So. Yeah. I mean, if, listen. You're one of those guys. One of the guys that know his rights and won't bow down to me just because I asked. You gotta love these guys thinking. If I was wanted, do you think I'd walk up to you? I'm, this has nothing to do with someone being wanted. Well, of course, you just said it was. No, he needs help. Oh, he does? Yeah. Suicide or something? Suicide call or something? Something like that. Uh, and, uh, yeah, it's too bad. Can I verify that you're not here? You can by looking at the picture. It kind of looks like it. it's an old picture. So what? You don't want to make a mistake, bud. Well, I know what mistakes I can make and not make. Well, I'm not going to give you an ID. See the photo and shield. So who are do you work here? I'm yeah, I'm a host here. You post the campground? Or? Yeah, yeah. He doesn't want to verify who he is. Oh. No, I'm just not gonna identify. It's not a big deal. I'm just Hi, I'm Rob, I'm the sergeant, I'm the supervisor. How you doing? Did he explain what's going on? Yeah, he says he's looking for this guy right there. Yeah. Chris Smith. Yeah. yeah. And you're you're not Chris Smith? Not Chris Smith. Okay. Do I look like him? Well. No, I was just, I'm the host here and I wanted to see why you guys were going in. So, that's all. Oh, yeah. That, that's why. So, uh, Are you the only, like, employee that's working? Or um. Just to verify. Um. Did that cop just spit right in front of him? That's disgusting. And why would I tell you an employee working there to verify? Verify what? That I am not who I just said I wasn't? Get the heck out of here, man. These, these idiots. I said he knows who this is. Oh, I went to high school with him. Yeah. So, I haven't seen him in a decade. It's pretty common, man. Over decade. You know over decade. I see him right there, dude. Yeah. I know who he is. I'm not him. Guess what? I'm not him. So, uh, there is another employee somewhere, but they're not going to identify themselves either. Though, so. uh, who who called you? I don't have to tell you that. Um, well, it's, this is pri private property, though, right? Yeah, but we're investigating something and looking for someone who might be in trouble that could be in the area. So okay. Well, I haven't seen him. Changes the situation a little bit. A little bit. A little bit. We're being respectful of you and you can just be... No, it actually doesn't change the situation a little bit. You can't come into my house because you're investigating, right? You can't come on private property because you're investigating. 
if this man tells you to leave, you have to leave. He just hasn't told these guys they have to leave yet. I guess he's being super nice to him, but yeah. No, I am. I totally am. I've been nothing but, but courteous and cordial. I just won't identify. Yeah. That's my right. I'll flex that. You know? I gotta flex it. Yeah. Yeah, man, you can flex that 100%. You agree with it, right? I mean, that's. I know what I can and can't do. Right. Depending cool. on the situation. All right. And I mean, you wouldn't be you wouldn't be pissed off if I didn't identify them, right? Now you're just being petty. Well, no, I'm just wondering. I'm, do I look pissed? No, but it was just okay. I was, just, I was, I was, I was curious. I was just we curious. Answered that question, right? Right. I know. I'm sure you guys get it from everybody all day long. So it's tough. It's probably tough. Yeah, it's a tough game. Like you make it tougher. Well, for sure. I'm sure. Behavior. My behavior? Why? Because I'm not identifying? And I'm seeing what you guys are doing here because I, I work here? Like, my behavior has been fine. I've been cordial with you guys. So, am I free to go? Yes. Okay. Thank you. I hope you find him. I hope he, he gets help. I mean, Alright guys, I think he did a pretty good job. Um, you know, more and more Americans need to start stepping up and denying them when they don't have a reason, right? There's no need to be cordial with them as far as, you know, giving them your, your papers and, you know, following all their commands and answering all their questions and stuff like that. None of that is going to help you. It's never, ever going to help you to help the police out. Not even in your own case, mostly, you know. I don't know how many people have studied case closure rates by police departments, but they're not good, right? I mean, let's say someone breaks in your house and steals some stuff. You know, everybody's like, oh, you, you know, who are you going to call, the police? Why? They have a 20% uh, closure rate on returning stolen property. I mean... You might as well call a crackhead. At least the crackhead is going to know, you know, who's pawning shit onto the streets and all that other stuff. These cops don't have a damn clue. So, yeah. In the end, um, you know, exert your rights. Um, if they threaten you with arrest, go ahead and provide the ID. Sue them over it later. Uh, but you have to know the law in order to understand these little things. So, thanks for watching, guys. We're going to have another video up a little bit later. Uh, so, I hope to see you guys there. And uh, we'll talk to you next time around. Oh, man, the cops are out there. Do you guys have some place I can hide? No, sir. We don't hide people. No? Oh, man. It's got to be a place I can hide. No, sir. No, what about behind the, behind the counter? No, sir. <laughs> I'm just playing with you. I'm not hiding. <laughs> you guys are cracking me up.